So I watched a movie called The Fall Guy and it was pretty fun. Y yay Now, I've been actually looking forward to this movie before the trailer came out, mainly because of the director, David Leitch. Not only did he do Deadpool 2, but also Bullet Train, which I was a big fan of, and also Hobbs and Shaw, which... Sue me, that movie's fucking awesome. Like, you, you cannot, you cannot change my mind. I, I, I don't care. It, it's awesome. It, ha it has The Rock and Jason Statham. Uh, uh it, it, it's The Rock and Jason Statham. But all jokes aside, I do have fun with that movie, and all of his movies, from what I've seen, haven't really been bad, and I would say I have fun with all of them. And The Fall Guy is no exception, and maybe my favorite, or maybe at least near my favorite anyways. This is also a remake of the 1980s TV show, which I actually had never heard of until I heard of this movie, so yeah. And it does follow in 21 Jump Street with it being a good remake of a classic TV show. This feels a lot like 21 Jump Street where it is based on a 19... 80s slash 90s TV show, but it really works as its own original thing and feels like its own original movie itself. And they really work on how, on its comedy, action, characters, acting, etc. This is also a really great movie that's really appreciative for stunts that technically says at the end, saying, Hey, Oscars, g give us a category. It really does feel like a love letter to stunt doubles in movies, and it really shows that appreciation incredibly well, with incredible action scenes, and while some of it is very fake, obviously, I mean, but with the practical stunts, it is really impressive and incredible, especially near the beginning where it kind of sets off the plot, was actually kind of tense, mainly because, maybe because I do have a fear of heights, but it does really work incredibly well, and I absolutely love that part of it. Also, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt have incredible chemistry together. You can tell that Ryan Gosling is really in love with her, and both of them are in this movie, and you, they just have so much fun on screen. It is an absolute blast to watch. Hello, this is Editing Louie here, and I just wanted to say I just realized that both Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt were in Barbenheimer. Emily Blunt in Oppenheimer and Bar and Ryan Gosling obviously in Barbie. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. I you probably knew that already. I just. Thought it was funny, that's all. Particularly Ryan Gosling in the in the lead role in here is absolutely hilarious. He is so much fun to watch that it put a smile on my face. Also, Winston Duke and Stephanie Hsu in here are also pretty great side characters. Winston Duke definitely has the most screen time to the two, but they are still a lot of fun. And Stephanie Hsu, for the little screen time she has, is kind of unappreciated at least least from what I've seen on people anyways. I don't know, I, I, I'm just making that up, I guess. The movie itself is also a mystery, and while it is pretty predictable on what's going to happen, it does do it really well, and it is very interesting on how it's going to turn out. There's also a really great soundtrack with the movie itself, and the score from what I remember off it anyways was very well done. And the soundtrack in here, especially one taking place in an action scene, was a lot of fun. And I should also state that the villain in this movie, well, I'm not going to spoil it, is an absolute blast to watch with how petty he is. And it's so much fun when he's on screen, especially when... Uh, near the end, you'll know what I mean. My biggest issue with the movie is its pacing. Scenes go on way too long that kind of becomes a bore to watch at times, which does kind of suck because this movie is incredibly entertaining. The entire movie isn't boring by all means, but it really does feel like it's dragging on a lot. But I mean, when you get into the third act, where it's an entirely insane action sequence, it is very long. It really does feel very long, but in the best way possible. I kind of didn't want it to end, to be honest. It was so much fun 
on how ridiculous it got, but also how somewhat uh, of a tribute it was to action movies also. I should also state that there is an incredibly hilarious and entertaining cameo at the end of the movie, which please, if please stay away from the internet for this movie, because this cameo is hilarious and it made me laugh all so much. Overall, while not perfect, The Fall Guy is an absolute blast to watch. It's an incredible tribute to stuntmen and women for movies that don't get the credit they deserve, and it is proof that we need a stunt category in the Oscars. C come on, Academy, what the, what the shit are you doing? I can definitely see myself watching this movie again, and I highly recommend it, and I easily, and I really can't wait to watch it again, and please watch it. It is an absolute blast to watch. Overall, I give The Fall Guy an A minus. The way you move, the way you feel. One kiss is all it takes. Falling in love with me. <laughs> Fucking